What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a transparent header using Elementor on WordPress. So let's begin. Let me just go ahead and minimize my screen here and move this to the side. So as you can tell I don't have a header set up yet but I'm going to be showing you guys how to kind of set up your header and then how to make it a transparent header. Um, so head over to your dashboard here and then head over to plugins. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first way is doing it without the sticky header um, transparent option. Um, and then the second way is just doing it um, sort of the regular way, which is just um, not having a background on your header and then um, moving up your, uh, your section. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So, um, I would honestly suggest just downloading both of these plugins. Elements Kits, you're probably, you're definitely going to need that one if you, um, if you don't have Elementor Pro. Um, but if you do, then you don't need to worry about, um, Elements Kit. Uh, you just need to download, um, uh, sticky header effects for Elementor. So, let's just begin here. Well, the first thing that we're going to need to do is, of course, work on our header. Um, so whether you're using, um, the free version of Elementor or you're using the pro version, just go ahead and, um, create a header and you can do that on elements kits. Um, I also have a video on that on my channel. So if you don't know how to do that, just go ahead and check that out. So add your header here, um, and then go ahead and just edit, edit your header. And then I'm just gonna grab one of the pre-built headers that uh, Elements Kits provides you with. So I'm gonna use this one right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna choose a menu here. So I'm just gonna use this menu and I'm gonna adjust the height on this one. And probably do that. Okay, now let me go ahead and save this and show you how that looks like on the website. Um, Probably should have linked the logo to the home page, but um, this is fine. This will work. So as you can tell right now, it's not transparent, and I kind of want it transparent with this uh, section here. I think it'll look pretty cool. So I'm going to show you the first way to do this. So the first way um, is just doing it without the sticky um, header plugin. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just um, click on the section, um, go to style, and just remove the background click clear and now we don't have the background and now of course you're gonna want to make um, your menu here white and you're probably gonna want to have a white logo as well I don't have a white logo so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna add an icon and I'm gonna pretend that it's a logo so I'm just gonna add the icon in here and I'm gonna and I'll have a star that's fine and I'm just gonna make it white and I'm gonna pretend that's logo and then I'm gonna adjust this as well. I'm gonna make the background white on here so we can see that and I'm gonna leave the button. Now I'm gonna change the button actually and I'm gonna make the button. I'm gonna probably remove the background shadow of this if it has one, uh, which it looks like it does. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna make this button white. I'm gonna grab this and just make this white and I'm gonna probably make the text um, blue okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go on here and you'll probably let me go to the home page here you'll notice that it's still not set right um, so basically the next thing that you need to do actually you know what let me go ahead and fix that that um, active issue so um, if it has that here let's see Oh, on active, there we go. On active, we want this to be white as well. So just so then we don't have that there. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need to do is uh, head over to your home page, and you're gonna want to actually edit your home page. So, but you know what? I think you can also do it from here. Let's see if we can do it from here. Oops, then we can do it from here as well. I sometimes do it from the home page. So yeah, you can do it from here too as well. We'll just need to find out how much. So we'll probably have to do it from here just so then it fits on every single page properly instead of just doing it from the home page. Um, and you'll probably tend to notice that, you know, let me just do this a little more, bring this up. And it might just end up covering it and you and the reason being, um, the reason being is that we need it. Oh, there we go. It's actually working. Never mind. Um, 
So let's probably prop this up a little more. And as you can tell, the logo isn't showing up, but we can probably fix that here in a bit. Okay. So probably just a little more. You could do it this way, like I said, but to be honest, guys, the best the best way to do this is actually doing it um, the second way that I'm going to show you. So if you just want to skip the video until I get to the second way, um, I would go ahead and do that because to be honest, it's a lot faster and it's way easier. Uh, but you're going to also want to have the index into probably around two just so then it, it does actually show up here. The logo shows up because I don't think it was showing up. Um, there we go. So just go ahead and set your uh, Z index to, to two. Um, so set that to the two and then now you're going to see it's uh, you have a transparent menu right here. Now I'm going to show you how to do this pretty much the second way. And actually it's a lot better um, to do it the second way to be honest. Because with the second way you can also have a sticky menu as well. And, and when it goes down, um, you can have it follow you and it'll change um, the header color. It'll change the header background color. So it's actually really useful. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and actually go back to how I originally had it. And let's see if I can. There we go. And let me just choose a menu here. It might just be glitching now and I might just have to um, reset it. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to go back here. And I'm going to save this just to show you. Alrighty. So once you've, um, once you've installed the sticky header Elementor plugin, you're going to go ahead and click on this section and you're going to go into advanced, click on advanced and go into the sticky header effects. And you're going to want to enable this. And then you're going to want an image. Uh, you're going to want to enable on um, transparent header. And that's basically going to make it transparent. You don't need to do um, the negative, um, what's it called us uh, CSS just so then you can um, have that work so and what, what I mean about the negative CSS I'm just talking about the margin um, the margins here you don't need to do that so let me click let me actually go back here and go back to, to the sticky so that by now is already sticky uh, sorry it's it's already it's already uh, transparent so I'm gonna click on this um, and you'll probably notice, okay, well, why isn't why isn't it transparent right now? Well, that's because we have a background. Um, so let's go ahead and remove this background real quick. Remove that. And then you'll notice we don't need to do the negative um, margins because it's automatically going to do it for It's automatically going to set it up for us, right? Um, so now all we got to do is just uh, change up the colors of these, of the menu to white. And then change this also the background white so we can see that. And I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the button how it is. Um, we but we already kind of know how that's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna grab an icon there just to replace that. And I'm gonna make this white. So I'm gonna choose that one and just make that white. All right, so now let's go ahead and check it out. And we'll see now that it's transparent there and we can actually see um, the logo and the button and all that stuff. So let's just make sure that we remove the active that we had before um, whenever it's on a page. So this part probably won't be that important for you, but important for me so go ahead here it should be on the active here and I'm gonna change this to white oops All right. there we go okay maybe maybe we want to give this some spacing to be honest I think it's gonna need some spacing here so maybe some spacing at the top here and some spacing at the bottom as well Uh, let's go back to my home page here. There we go. Um, okay. So now let's just adjust this um, sticky header because I think that's very important. Um, so what I would actually suggest you guys do is turn this 
just make this actually I'm gonna go ahead and actually make this white just so then it works out with um, with the sticky header so I'm gonna make this white here and I'm gonna make this um, blue and I'm gonna go ahead and go to go to a shadow and remove that okay and I'm gonna click the section and in the sticky I'm gonna add a header background whenever it scrolls so and we can actually shrink shrink it too so if we want to shrink it after scrolling we can do that as well but I'm not gonna do that um, and then I'm gonna set this to black now you will see that once we let me go on the home page here you'll see that it's transparent and then once we scroll it's gonna turn black so now that's set up now of course it kinda looks a little weird because I, I do have the Elementor sorry I do have my um, WordPress dashboard um, panel here so I'm gonna go ahead and log out and just show you guys how that works so now you'll see that it works properly right I mean we don't have that panel in the in the way anymore I'm um, sorry the bar in the way and that works perfectly and if you do and if you do want to learn how to um, make this mobile and tablet um, friendly just go ahead and watch one of my videos I have it on my channel I have actually three of them so I do have quite a few videos you can watch you probably want to watch the most recent one um, and that will be able to show you how to do that so thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe and like the video I will really appreciate that and I will catch you guys in the next video.